before we proceed further, let's learn about string manipulations. Here are the top 11 methods that we end up using every time. Equals. Equals method is used to compare two string values. If both strings have similar value, it, this function, it will return true, otherwise false, usually a boolean value. On the left side, as you can see, we have two examples where I'm trying to compare a string called Sherath with an, another string called Raju and it returns out false. And in the second example, I'm comparing Sherath with Sherath and it turns out to be true. Then we have length. Length is a string property that returns a number of characters in a string and here spaces are counted too. As we can see in the examples, share dot length will give me the count 7 because there are 7 characters available in this particular string. Then high dot length will give me 2. Trim. Trim function is used to take off the extra spaces from the start and the end of the string. With that comes two other functions that we can use that are used to take off only the white spaces available at the start or the white spaces available at the end. In the examples you can find I have Sherath with few extra spaces at the beginning and at the end and Trim will take off all those. But in the second example Trim start the extra spaces at the beginning are only removed. In the third example, trim end, the extra spaces available at the end are the only things that are being removed. Replace. Replace method can be used to replace a character or a word in a string with an another specified character or word. As you can see in the examples, we have a word called bubble and I am trying to replace B in it with Z so it becomes Zazel and then in air bubble I am trying to replace a string called air with water it becomes water bubble then index of index of is used to get the index of the particular character present in the string it returns the index position of the first occurrence of a particular character as an integer value. If that doesn't exist, the method will return minus 1. In the examples, you can see index of the character A gives out 2. Because you might be confused. You might be thinking, I think it should be giving out 3. But here, whenever you have something called string, the indexing starts from 0. So S will have an index of 0, H will have an index of 1, and A will have an index of 2. So when we are giving it as A, it will consider the index of it as 2. In the second example, we are trying to find the index of a string called HA. So HA starts from 1. So the answer is 1. The third example, sharat.index of ss. Because it can't find ss in the string provided, it will return minus 1. Similarly, we have last index of. In the index of, it will give out the first occurrence of a particular character that has been passed to index of. Here, the only difference is we'll get the last occurrence of that particular character. Everything remains the same. Then comes substring. Substring, when it takes only one argument, is used to return a part of a string starting from start string to the end of the string. Then we have an another method with two arguments in it. And this method 
will return a part of a string with the specified start index and to what length we want to extract. It would be clear if you can just look at the examples here. Shell dot substring of one. So we are trying to pass the start index, which is one here. So I'll get the substring from one index. Here h starts at one index, so it will be harat. Then in the second example, Sharad dot substring of phi. So phi if you count can count, s comes at zero, h comes at one, a comes at two r comes at 3, a comes at 4, t comes at 5. So it will take in the string from t h. In the third example, we have passed two arguments. One is the start index, the second is the length. So what we are trying to tell to the system is try to take the string from the index 1 and take till the 4 characters so it will be as you can see the one index resembles the h from there we are taking four characters then contains shell dot contains first of all contains method will return true if a string contains the supplied value irrespective of the position otherwise it will return false sharad dot contains of a will return true because this particular string Sharat have A in it. Then Sharat Raju contains Raju will return true because there is a word called Raju in the string that we have supplied. Ends with and starts with. Ends with method will return true if a string starts with the supplied value otherwise it will return false. Similarly ends with. It will return true if a string ends with the supplied value, otherwise it will return false. Sharad dot starts with s returns true because this particular string Sharad starts with s. And the ends with example, we are passing th which actually exists. So it returns to be true. Then two lower and two upper. Two lower method is used to convert a string into lower case similarly to upper to convert a string to uppercase. In the left hand side you can see the examples to lower converting it to lower case and to upper converting the given string to uppercase. Then comes split. Split method is used to split the string based on a specified value. Written value of this method is a string array. As you can see this is how the result looks like. If you just look at the left side I have tried to pass a string and I'm trying to split it using a space. Okay, so it will result in an array of string giving me out two values called string and called Sharath and Raju. That was about the string manipulations.